In this week's Business Matters, we report on something a little bit different. Instead of a business out to turn a profit, this organization exists for the simple sole purpose of giving to anybody. No questions asked. So this is where all the meals end up coming into warming trays, and then they get plated. I'll show you all the, cl the clam shells, and then they actually get put into these coolers right here. It's a process that repeats itself almost all day, every day at the River of Life Mission. These caring hands prepare food to be delivered to about a thousand people every day. A number that's actually down from the pandemic when it was closer to 1,300. And it's a hot handmade meal. It's made with love. You know, we say we want to serve the absolute best meal we can. It's pretty incredible, though. All the meals and food that we uh, serve is typically donated items. And so we never know what we're going to cook from one day to the next. Paul Gates is the executive director of the organization that's been supporting people in need for some 35 years. I've always had a heart for the homeless, and that's what River Life Mission has done for so many years. We call them our guests, and we just love serving our guests and helping people in need, and the need is getting greater. He says the first priority in serving their guests, as he likes to call them, is getting to know them as people, all starting with three simple questions. What's your name? How can we help you? and tell us about your family. One of the big things we're realizing is that well, one of the most important things is just connecting people back with their family. A lot of people end up on the streets because of a small rift with their family. And so we're actually doing a lot of work behind the scenes to try and reconnect people with their family. And so that's something really new uh, that we're doing here at River Life. Although not related by blood, the family behind the scenes here is steadfast in their goal of helping anybody in need. The feeling here, I came in here as a volunteer. I worked at another uh, uh, real estate company for 15 years, and I loved my job. But after volunteering for River of Life, she said everything changed. And I've been here ever since. I've been here for about 30 years now. And how does it feel to do what you do on a daily basis? I just love it. It's just part of my life. This is a chicken taco stew. Although Hot Meals serves as the mission's main course, they're also focusing more on serving up the tools needed to strengthen the very foundation for people to build their lives on. Structure kind of falls apart, and that's when people end up on the street. And one of the things that we say is really tragic about living on the street is just the isolation. Um, you're isolated from community, you're isolated from conversation. Even what we're having right now, this is what we were built for. Especially when it goes on for longer and longer, um, it just gets really hard to come back. Gates says the organization never discriminates against anybody. And with every meal he serves, he feels that much more fulfilled. Amazing. I mean, that's the one thing, Howard, I've told people I love every night. I put my head on my pillow and know that I did something that helped somebody else uh, every day. And we have a lot of people that support River Life Mission. If you're listening to this today, go to riverlifemission.org. You can volunteer. You can support us. I guarantee if you do, you'll put your head on your pillow every night and just know that you help somebody in need. And that's what we love.